It was through Dorothy Day and my time at the Catholic Worker that I really came to know and love the saints. But for the saints for Dorothy Day were not just confined to the canonized saints. They included uh, all kinds of writers and, and poets and theologians and activists, peace activists, martyrs, uh, who had uh, uh, who served as a as a window, you know, into some of the qualities of, of God's God's justice, God's mercy, God's tenderness, God's wisdom. Uh, and she wrote about all these people all the time. I decided years later that I would write a book of my own on on saints. It would be a kind of calendar, one for every day, and it. It wouldn't be confined just to the to the traditional canonized saints, and I called it All Saints, because that's taken from the feast in the church calendar that recognizes all the saints, both those recognized by the church and those known only to God, because those official saints are really only a very small uh, number. They are just a uh, they are kind of a representative of you know the tip of the iceberg of a much larger reality that's invisible of of, of people who in all kinds of ordinary ways. Our, our living lives of, of love and mercy and, and faith and hope. So uh, it was really a kind of Catholic worker book of saints because it included you know, St. Francis and St. Augustine, St. Clair and all these kinds of, of traditional people, but also figures like Thoreau and Tolstoy and Franz Jaeger's daughter, uh, who has only been recently beatified. Many of the people I included in the book have, have now been recognized as saints, uh, but even weren't at the time. So out of that, uh, I, I wrote a couple of other books on women saints. I wrote a book called The Saint's Guide to Happiness. Uh, that is uh, what the saints have to tell us really about the kind of universal questions we all struggle with about what it means to live a whole pur purposeful life. Uh, and meanwhile then, uh, Franciscan Media approached me and said, how would you feel about doing a book that just pulled out the Franciscans? And uh, I was a little bit worried that, that maybe I hadn't written about enough of them to, to make a whole book. But actually there were quite a lot of them there and I added more and I began to learn about people who actually had a, Fran a Franciscan connection that I hadn't been aware of. Uh, so ultimately uh, we had a hundred or so and that seemed like enough uh, for a book. I'd written about all these people separately but to see just the Franciscan family gathered together in this way, men and women from many different times and places, uh, it was fascinating for me to, to get a sense of this uh, family resemblance, this kind of spiritual DNA that goes back to St. Francis. So many people in different kind of contexts and different historical periods uh, still living out of an essential kind of vision that they encountered through their meeting with St. Francis. Uh, and it, it struck me that, that especially in light of the era of Pope Francis that we're living in, uh, we're seeing this, uh, uh, the whole church and the whole world through a Franciscan lens in a way, thanks, thanks to him. He is calling to our attention the, uh, the urgency and relevance of Francis's kind of reset of the church and its uh, understanding of, 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 of the gospel and discipleship in our time.